You know, I've always dreamed about a luxury holiday in the Hamptons on Long Island. Beautiful weatherboard cottage, the cry of the gulls, the sea breeze and the sand between my toes. Well, I've found something that ticks all those boxes and it's just a little bit closer. West Cape is a brand new holiday house in Marion Bay on York Peninsula. It's a long way from the east coast of America, but just a thong throw away from a sheltered beach and minutes as the gull flies to unspoiled Innes National Park. As for the house itself, it's wonderfully in tune with the surrounding scenery. Light-filled, uncluttered, simple. The top floor is given over to the open plan living space and kitchen. And from there, guests can step out onto a wide deck to enjoy the sea air. Inside or out, the view from this level straight to the bay is glorious. The kitchen wants for nothing a huge fridge fit for a hungry horde and a top-class espresso machine. In cooler weather, the fireplace becomes the focus for a cosy night watching a movie. There's also a sheltered deck at the back of the house where we caught up with West Cape's builder and owner, James Wagner, to talk about how holidaymakers are beginning to look for more in a shack getaway. I think people want something a little more comfortable to come back to, um, but particularly if you're out on the beach all day or fishing or surfing, it's nice to have some home comforts and, and that type of thing to come home to. West Cape sleeps up to eight guests and features two rooms with queen-size beds, again with a minimum of clutter but no shortage of comfort. The third bedroom has four bunk beds, making it a bit of a fun kid's cubby. And all three bedrooms share a large luxury bathroom and shower. Of course, there's also the alfresco shower to wash the sand off after a day at the beach. Speaking of, there are plenty of options when it comes to fun in the sun. It's a very safe beach out the front and um, I know our kids love um, going on the sups and canoes and uh, enjoying um, time on the beach just straight out the front. Well personally I, I like surfing so I, I'd say go into the national park and um, you know there's some great breaks there. Now if you really want to find out about the art of surfing you have to drop in to Studio Surf while you're here. It represents artists whose inspiration comes straight from the ocean. The Gallery Cafe is in a quiet Marion Bay back street but looking at the artworks you can almost feel the sea spray. From paintings to sculptures made from found objects to glass and jewellery, all made by local artists, it's about capturing that essence of the ocean. When he's not surfing, gallery owner Jason Swale can be found here, recreating that perfect moment out on the water. It's all got to do with the light and it might be just that, and it usually it's only a one second, it might only be for that one second you'll see that little bit of light, because obviously with a wave it moves so quickly. So you've actually got to catch that light within that one second. Partner Jasmine also creates works of art at the gallery. Hers are in the form of cake and coffee. And yes, there's a surfing theme, of course. The gallery's open from Fridays through to Mondays from 11 to 3. And after a tough day of beach going and art appreciation, why not let someone else cook your dinner? The tavern is home to excellent wood oven pizzas and the legendary Oscar. Not a bad place to relax and plan tomorrow's adventures in paradise, otherwise known as Marion Bay.